everybody, best of this kid here. I'm going to be showing you how to grow a successful YouTube channel to at least the point where I'm at or even bigger. So these are going to be tips to show you how to get to where I'm at. Remember, this is going to be a long process because you're not going to hit my subscriber base in goddamn one week unless you're rich as shit and you can just pay for subscribers, which I don't advise no botting. All right, so the first one is going to be about equipment. You're always going to need good equipment for no matter what. If you're doing flipping, gaming, vlogging, commentating, no matter what, anything to deal with YouTube, you're going to need a computer. No matter what, you're just going to need a computer. If you, no matter what, I mean, you can't use your I mean, you can use your cell phone to do like unboxings and stuff, but you're going to need a computer to edit the video. So, there's that. And after you have a computer vloggers you're gonna need a nice HD camera so I'll put a couple of cameras in the description that you can get on Amazon so um, there's that and then for gamers so if you make if you wanna be like a commentator for like just like a gaming commentator pub stomper whatever you're gonna need a good microphone and the two microphones that I suggest is a blue Yeti or a blue snowball they're both very very good quality I have both of them just in case if one fails on me right now I'm using my blue Yeti in which you can hear my voice my voice is really good and I have a sound thing forgot the, um pop filter pop filter so pop filter um it blanks out the noise like if like like that it won't sound like scratchy piece of shit so that's what a pop filters for not to make your pee, like pee it doesn't make it sound like a piece of crap and um after that okay so after you got your microphone and you're gonna need this for like making funny moment montages like i do so um you're gonna need that a microphone now of course also a gamer commentator or funny moment guy um you're gonna need a capture device because if you use your cell phone it, it's not gonna sound good just let me tell you that it's gonna sound horrible it's gonna look horrible no matter what like when I was doing the snowboard video I was using a cell phone because I didn't have enough to buy my action cam that I wanted to get for the snowboarding trip so it didn't look or sound good at all so there is that but you're gonna want an Elgato game capture card Especially if you're doing funny moment montages, you're gonna want a Hapog, and you're gonna, or you're gonna want a want Roxio. Now I'm gonna link a whole bunch of game capture devices down in the link, and cheapest ones are tend to get to 480p to 360p. Now higher quality ones tend to get to 1080p. Now I don't know if there's a game capture device that lets you get to 4K, um, 4K, um, but if there is, if you buy it, good for you. Okay, so after you got all that, you just need a HD TV, and then and you need a gaming console if you're going to be a gamer. So there's that. You're going to need a microphone so you could talk to your viewers, and you're going to need one for your computer so they can hear you while you're doing like if you're doing a live commentary, plus you're talking to teammates. You're going to need like a Bluetooth for PlayStation, or you're going to need uh, Turtle Beaches for PlayStation or Xbox, no matter what. And those are all the tips for episode one. And, yeah, that's pretty much that. I'm going to try and keep commentaries to a minimum to what it's at now, like three to five minutes. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Please leave a like and peace out.